Hi guys, have I got a story for you today? Uh, as you probably remember from my uh, older videos, I uh, started going to the gym while dressed a while ago, and thus far, I, uh, for a while there, rather, I uh, hadn't had any negative experiences with anybody. And uh, but something deep inside me always told me that uh, it was just a matter of time till something bad happened. Uh, so I happened upon the right person to start challenging me for it, and um, indeed, well, while that isn't exactly how it happened, uh, last week I had quite a run-in with the law, while dressed no less, on my way back home from the gym, because uh, while dressing for the gym, uh, I usually, I don't live that far from the gym, so I do believe I mentioned that uh, I actually walked home from the gym while dressed as well. So, uh, like about a week ago, I got out from the gym, I had a pretty decent workout, and uh, there's this rather busy street that I have to cross in order to, uh, on my way home, and uh, I was on the phone with a friend of mine, so I wasn't really paying any attention to anything, and uh, <clears throat> I, only I saw that there were just, uh, no cars were coming in that very moment, so I decided to run across the street, even though there's a pedestrian crossing like, uh, I don't know, about 100 meters down the road, which I usually use, but that time, uh, you know, being on the phone and being distracted and then seeing that there wasn't any traffic uh, on the street, I decided to run across. And so I did, and I ran straight into this police cruiser. Uh, and, uh, uh, and as soon as I got there, uh, one of the policemen uh, got out and, uh, you know, uh, approached me and uh, I was pretty damn sure I, I already realized uh, the mistake that I had made, <laughs> and, but I got so scared, I'm telling you, I, I was close to fainting, actually, and uh, I'm pretty damn sure that the two policemen there in the car, they thought that uh, that was actually a woman running across the street, <laughs> but uh, obviously, as, uh, as soon as uh, I got approached and... Um, you know, they started talking about finding me and uh, about asking for my ID. They realized that uh, I got red, obviously, that very second. Uh, not much actually happened. They were obviously sort of surprised. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but eventually, uh, the bottom line is that I got fined. got fined the equivalent of about $100, so uh, that hurt as well. And uh, there was uh, this... Uh, Rather coldish drizzle falling then, and uh, I had to stand outside the police cruiser while they were, uh, <clears throat> you know, checking me on the computer because I didn't have the ID with me, and uh, while they were writing out the fine. So yeah, that was um, that was quite a sobering experience. I was shaking there like like a leaf, not just because of the cold, but because of how scared I was. Uh, but I got fined, um, and then eventually I just walked home uh, normally. So. Um, nothing actually, uh, nothing significant was actually lost. <laughs> I wasn't taken into the police precinct or whatever, so uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, actually, I think I got a flight. Uh, I have since paid that fine, so it's all a bad memory now. But um, yeah, it's always a reminder that there are all sorts of uh, dangers lur lurking out there for cross-dressers and transvestites, so yes, uh, if you do decide to go out there, pay attention and try try to draw as little attention as you possibly can, especially from the law. But uh, obviously it's going to be much worse and um, yeah, so that's pretty much the story. Uh, see you around. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the like button as often as you can. And uh, that's about it for today. See you guys.